Welcome back to Avision Hub. Today, we're breaking down the differences between GMS L1, GMS L2, and GMS L3. As each new GMS L version rolled out, there have been crucial upgrades. Let's break down what sets each GMS L technology apart and how it shapes the future of data transmission. Let's start with GMS L1, the original version. GMS L1 supported high speed data transmission over long distances, offering data rates up to 3 gigabits per second for transmitting video resolutions up to 7 to 20p. This was done over a single cable, typically coaxial or twisted pair, with lengths up to 15 meters. It also ensured the transmission of controlled data alongside video. However, GMS L1 couldn't handle higher resolution video, such as Full HD or 4K. So, it was only ideal for systems that didn't demand extensive data rates, then came GMS L2, which addressed these limitations. It could support higher resolutions, including full 1080p HD, and even 4K video. The data transmission rate was increased to 6 gigabits per second for uncompressed video streams with low latency. GMS L2 also extended the distance over which data could be transmitted, as well as improved noise immunity. Finally, the backward compatibility with GMS L1 also made it easier to upgrade. GMS L3 technology. GMS L3 pushes data rates to an impressive 12 GBPs for transmitting 4K and even 8K videos that massive amounts of data can be transmitted. GMS L3 can transmit video and control data over a single link with improved bidirectional communication. It also offers superior noise immunity and longer transmission lengths. And that wraps up our comparison of GMS L1, GMS L2, and GMS L3. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to a Vision Hub for more tech insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.